Okay, so I'm very pleased uh, to uh, now present uh, the objectives and expected outcomes of the WIN uh, network that has been supported by the TDR program and collaboration with the Neglected Tropical, uh, Tropical Disease Departments. And thanks to Raman, he's not here today, but... Uh, um, so, um, I, uh, I think important first uh, to inform you that there is now a website uh, that will be available soon uh, and all information, presentations uh, relating to the uh, network uh, will be present on this website, win-network.ird.fr, so please don't hesitate uh, uh, to go to this website to, uh, achieve, to see the progress and achievements of, of, the, of the network. I think worth to uh, remind you that uh, the global changes are suitable for the uh, emergence and spread of arbovirus disease uh, worldwide. Demographic expansion, increased urbanization, land and climatic changes, population movements due to increased transportation are creating very favorable uh, conditions for the development of the vectors and the pathogens. And dengue is, of course, recognized as the most prevalent human arboviral disease, causing more than 100 million clinical cases. But uh, chikungunya and Zika have emerged and causing increasing incidence and uh, severity. As I told you this morning, uh, the vector control is a mainstay for the prevention of arboviral diseases. And uh, integrated vector control rely on environmental management, source reduction, community participation, and by the use of insecticides. For example, insecticide can be applied directly in the mosquito breeding habitats, manually or by using a hand sprayer operated, uh, to reduce the vector density. And uh, in case of emergency or outbreaks, uh, we can use the space sprays with uh, paratroids or gonophosphates to rapidly eliminate the adult mosquitoes. So these strategies have been, here, have been used for more than 30 years through the control of arbovirus uh, control. And fortunately, uh, they failed to durably control vector population and uh, skirtle the cycle of the epidemics. And the problems we have is that there has been a lack of innovation and developments with regards to method and strategies deployed for vector control. So just to give you an example uh, that has been initially done by uh, Janet, if I remember, uh, for example, we used to listen to music with vinyl discs, we used to watch TV with cathode ray tubes, now we use MP4, smartphone, 3D TV, Curve HD TV. But if you can see for vector control, we used to spray spray insecticide for DDT to control the mosquitoes. And today we still use space spray for that. So it's uh, also uh, a problem. Another challenge is that the arsenal of safe and effective public health insecticide is depleted. And for example, the pyrethroids targeting the sodium channel or organophosphates targeting the acetylcholinesterase is the gold standard for controlling Aedes population. So that means that vector control still uh, rely on just two modes of actions. So additional products such as insect grow regulator and BTI have been recommended by WHO, but the use is still limited due to high cost for Hygeria, IGR, and to low residual activity for BTI. So the problem is that most of the insecticides are coming from the agricultural sectors, and there have been a lack of innovation because the public health market is really limited and suffer from a lack of investments from the agrochemical uh, agri companies, sorry. Just to give you an example also, for example, the environmental science markets, including urban or peri-urban control, uh, just represent 10% of the total, the global insecticide market, while vector control represents less than 1%. So clearly, there is a need for improvement and development of insecticide technology, new vector control strategies if we want to better control the population, reduce the insecticide pressure on existing co compounds, and prevent the epidemics. So with the intense use of insecticide for more than 40 years now, uh, we have uh, observed uh, that insecticide resistance is widely developed worldwide in AIDS population. And it is interesting to note that the countries that are at higher risk of dengue transmission, for example, are also the ones reporting the highest level of insecticide resistance, especially Latin America, Caribbean, and the Southeast uh, Asia. 
The same is true in Thailand, for example, where you can see that some province reporting the highest number of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome are also the one reporting high level of resistance to parathyroid and organophosphate. So it, it may be misleading to say that resistance is responsible for vector control failure, but there is no doubt that the use of insecticides for dengue control have put a lot of selection on a vector population. You can see also on this map that there is quite a paucity of data relating to insecticide resistance in many countries, especially in Africa, in Eastern Mediterranean, in Europe, in the Americas. And there is also a lack of data concerning the tiger, Hydes albopictus mosquito, that is becoming now increasingly urban and that will be exposed to increased selection pressure by the various xenobiotics such as insecticide. You can see here all the factors that are known to potentially impact on the selection of insecticide resistance. Of course, the insecticide used for vector control and agriculture represent the main source of selection, but other xenobiotics such as allochemicals released from plants, the pollutants from in urbanization or industry are known to impact on the detoxification system of the insect and can lead to resistance. So unlike malaria vectors, really li little is known about the relative importance of vector control, agriculture, or pollutants on the resident, on the resistance selection uh, pressure. And recently, some authors showed that the microbiome, that means the microorganism that inhabits the insects, can also interfere with the detoxification system and lead to resistance. But the mechanism by which this uh, microorganisms can degrade the insecticides are not well understood and will merit further investigation. So to summarize, resistance is now widespread in, uh, in the world, in Aedes population, and represents a threat to the control of arbovirus diseases. And all experience from the past show that resistance can be managed if actions are taken early. And so uh, we will have to fill a knowledge gap uh, in terms of insecticide resistance distribution, dynamic, mechanism, and impact if we want to better control vector population. So we come to the win. The, the win of a network is clearly uh, aimed at tracking down insecticide resistance in mosquito vectors. And we'll have to identify particular areas where resistance is underreported and where it may challenge vector control intervention. And uh, the network at the end will have to assist the national authorities and WHO in decision making for insecticide resistance management and deployment of alternative vector control. So a uh, word on the partners. The, the, the win is made of 50 internationally recognized uh, partners in vector uh, research. Uh, coming from the five continents and the idea at the beginning was to bring complementary uh, skill uh, in medical entomology and in research institute having strong knowledge on vector biology and control in uh, different settings. So we have, for example, uh, six partners in Europe with IRD and CNRS for France. We have uh, two partners in UK with uh, the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and University of Oxford. We have the IHMT in Portugal and Fort in uh, Greece. We have uh, four partners in the Americas, um, with uh, Notre Dame University in the US and uh, Rutgers University, few crews in Brazil, and Pasteur Institute in French Guiana. We have one African partner, which is MRTC in Mali, uh, one partner in Eastern Mediterranean, which is the University of Tehran, uh, two partners in Southeast Asia with India, NEMR, and uh, Kasetza University, and one partner from Pacific region, which is Singapore with NEA. So among the partners, we have five partners located in uh, LEMIX, low middle income countries, and most of them are facing problems with arboviruses. Uh, all partners have very strong expertise in vector biology and control, molecular biology, spatial modeling, population genetics, and uh, GIS. And most of them have existing collaboration through international research program, network or consortium, training activities, or co authorship in link with IDS and insecticide resistance, as you can see on this, uh, on this uh, graph. So the core pillar of the win will be to institutionalize an international consortium for the surveillance and management of insecticide resistance. We'll have to commission deep review to fill knowledge gaps on topics relating to insecticide resistance. And at the end, to organize an international multidisciplinary workshop to identify the priorities for dengue vector control 
and for implementation of a global plan of insecticide resistance management. So how will work? Uh, we'll first have to collect uh, global da resistance data using different sources and try to establish comprehensive maps of the distribution of resistance level and mechanism. Uh, we will have also to review knowledge gap on the molecular basis of insecticide resistance in arbovirus vectors and provide guidance for the development of new diagnostic tools. And this is particularly needed for the metabolic resistance for which no molecular marker are still uh, validated and used. We'll have also to identify the factor driving the emergence and spread of insecticide resistance and try to develop a prospective analysis of the use of biblical pesticide for the next decade. And the interest is, for example, to identify the countries using a lot of insecticide and the countries that could uh, play a role in the emergence uh, of insecticides. We will also have to contribute to transfer of knowledge and technology on insecticide resistance and identify gaps for monitoring resistance uh, at national level. Uh, one example of, of the, the action is, will be to provide the support for establishing discriminating concentration for various insecticide and species in order to help the different member states to implement a nationwide surveillance of insecticide resistance. So just a word on the, the review. Uh, we'll have so five review uh, on insecticide resistance relating topic. One will be on distribution mechanism and dynamic of insecticide resistance. A second one will be more on the global trends in the use of pubical pesticide for the control of arbovirus vectors. We'll have also to define the resistance management strategies that could be applicable to mosquito uh, vectors of arboviruses. Uh, we will have to define the, the conditions for deployments of innovative vector control strategies. And finally, last one, more technical review will have to be developed to, uh, to, de to define the framework for the development of the International Research Consortium. So once the, the, the commission will be uh, down, uh, we will organize a workshop in a partner space in the LEMIC uh, and in order to review current evidence on the effectiveness and limitation of dengue vector control and try to present the achievements of the commission review in order to help in decision making. Um, we'll also have to provide recommendation to the WUN member states on the condition of deployment of alternative, alternative strategies for the control of Aedes population. One objective also of the workshop uh, and the project will have to uh, mobilize resources to sustain all the research, training and innovation on vector control uh, strategies. So just to finish on this one, uh, we expect that all together this network will uh, give the basis for the development of an international research and training consortium for tracking down insecticide resistance. So beyond the, the wind partner, as you can see here, uh, we have already established some connection with more than 40 national partners willing to implement large scale and integrating surveillance research activities and strengthening capacity in terms of insecticide resistance. Uh, one issue is, um, is that the funding and, and, and uh, financial support is quite uh, limited for the moment. Uh, there is much more investments in malaria, or, as you know, and HIV than neglected tropical diseases. So the work of the network will have to, to, to try to work on that, mobilizing funds, which is, uh, will be uh, quite uh, difficult. But uh, I hope that we, um, the interest is, is there, uh, as you can see here, with a strong demand from the South to, to implement this kind of uh, project and monitoring. So I think it's uh, finished. I would like to thank all of you for being here today and uh, I hope uh, we'll have a good uh, meeting and discussion uh, on, on that. So thank you very much.